30 Latest Scientific Discoveries in Chemistry 2023 Researchers at MIT developed a new catalyst that can split water into hydrogen and oxygen gases more efficiently. This could lead to improved hydrogen fuel production. Scientists at the University of California, Berkeley engineered a new protein that fluoresces bright green when it binds to heavy metals like mercury and lead. This provides a new tool for detecting heavy metal contamination. Chemists at Harvard University created a new hydrogel material that is extremely tough and stretchable. This tough gel could have applications in soft robotics and biomedicine. A team at the University of Chicago discovered a simple method to convert waste carbon dioxide into ethanol fuel. This provides a potential new route for capturing and converting CO2 emissions. Researchers at Stanford University developed a lithium sulfur battery chemistry that could store up to five times more energy than current lithium ion batteries. This has major implications for electric vehicles and energy storage. Scientists at MIT and Tsinghua University created a new solar cell with an efficiency of over 20%. The cells utilize perovskite and silicon in a tandem design. Chemists at the University of Wisconsin-Madison synthesized a molecule that shows promising antiviral activity against influenza, Ebola and Zika viruses. More testing is needed to evaluate its potential as a broad-spectrum antiviral drug. Researchers at Cornell University engineered a new enzyme that can break down plastic bottles for recycling in just a few hours. This could help address the problem of plastic waste. A team at Caltech discovered a method to convert ammonia into hydrazine rocket fuel using a catalyst and electricity. This provides a green way to produce the commonly used rocket propellant. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute developed artificial leaf technology that uses sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into synthesis gas, a key chemical for making fuels. Chemists at Rice University synthesized thin sheets of graphene oxide that can remove radioactive ions from water. This provides a new way to purify radioactive wastewater. Researchers at the University of Toronto created a new sustainable process to convert plant-based sugars into nylon. This makes nylon production far less reliant on fossil fuels. Scientists at the University of Manchester discovered a method to convert wood pulp into high-quality graphene. This provides a simple and inexpensive way to produce the nanomaterial. A team at MIT developed a light-powered catalyst that can convert nitrogen from the air into ammonia for use in fertilizers. This offers an alternative to the energy-intensive Haber-Bosch process. Chemists at Virginia Tech synthesized light-emitting crystals that are more efficient and stable than current materials used in LED displays. This could enable brighter, more durable displays. Researchers at UCLA created a solar-powered electrochemical cell that efficiently converts carbon dioxide into ethanol. This provides a new way to potentially recycle CO2 emissions. Scientists at the University of Waterloo engineered enzymes that can break down pet plastic in just a few days. This could help address the problem of plastic waste accumulation. A team at the University of Cambridge developed self-healing polymers that can repair tears and cracks when exposed to UV light. This has applications in coatings, electronics, and infrastructure. Chemists at the Max Planck Institute produced synthetic spider silk fibers that are even stronger than the natural ones. This has implications for lightweight, durable materials. Researchers at Penn State University created a porous liquid that rapidly absorbs carbon dioxide. This provides a new way to capture CO2 emissions from power plants and industrial facilities. Scientists at Stanford University synthesized a new 2D material called borophene, which has unusual elastic and conductive properties. This adds to the growing list of 2D materials beyond graphene. A team at the University of California, Irvine developed artificial molecular machines that can be controlled with light. This provides a new way to build microscopic devices and machines. Chemists at the University of Toronto found a way to convert carbon dioxide into solid carbon nanofibers using copper nanoparticles. This provides a method to upcycle CO2 into useful materials. Researchers at the University of Cambridge created color-changing ink using crystalline colloidal arrays. This smart ink could be used to create sensors, anti-counterfeiting tags, and dynamic displays. 
Scientists at Kyushu University in Japan synthesized a luminescent tetracine derivative that could improve OLED display technology with its high efficiency and color purity. A team at the University of Chicago discovered an efficient catalyst for extracting hydrogen from water through electrolysis powered by solar cells. This offers a clean way to produce hydrogen fuel. Chemists at Cornell University developed a new polymer film that can selectively capture CO2 from air. This provides a potential approach for direct air capture of carbon dioxide. Researchers at MIT engineered proteins called streaming propellers that can precisely control nanoparticle movement. This enables new possibilities in targeted drug delivery.